Hey guys, what's up? Manas here and this time around we will be starting this session with yet another important topic in engineering graphics and that is section of solids. Alright, so I've been getting a lot of messages to prepare videos on this topic and uh, the wait is finally over. So let's begin. A square prism base 40mm side and height 80mm has its base on the HP and its face is equally inclined to the VP that is vertical plane. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to the VP, inclined at 60 degrees to the HP and passing through a point on the axis 55 mm above the HP. Draw its front view, sectional top view, sectional side view and true shape of the section. So guys, after reading the question you need to answer the following. Alright, answer the following questions and you are on your way to construction. Object obviously is a square prism, the base is 40 mm, height is 80 mm, the position of object is... Uh, has its base on the HP okay so the base geometrically is square in shape and it is resting with its base on HP so one thing is for sure that the true shape of the base will be seen from the top okay and hence you have to start by drawing the top view first and accordingly its front view can be made fine then we have this guy cutting plane it is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal plane so guys remember i'll be using this notation any sort of inclination with the horizontal plane shall be represented by theta so theta is the angle made by the cp that is cutting plane 60 degrees all right and then we have this positioning it is intersecting or passing the axis 55 mm above the hp all right so let's start so i've already made this um, front and top view uh, you have to start by drawing the top view first this is the top view and then accordingly this front view has to be made so there are three edges that is one five two six and three seven these are the three edges which can be seen from the front and this edge over here this vertical edge over here eight four edge it cannot be seen all right because it is lying behind exactly behind two six edge okay now guys you can see this uh this square, I have made this square at an angle of 45 degrees because it has been clearly mentioned in the problem that its faces are to be equally inclined to the VP. So there, the names of those faces are 4378 and 4518. So these are the two faces which are to be inclined at an angle of 45 degree and on doing so we can clearly say that we have ensured that the rectangular face makes, uh, that the rectangular faces are equally inclined to the vertical plane. Okay, so any sort of inclination with the VP can be seen from the top and hence the top view has been drawn in such a manner. Alright, so the next thing to do is to position the cutting plane and for that I'll delete this dimension for a while. Okay, now we know that cutting plane intersects the axis 55 mm above the HP. So we're going to put a point exactly at a height of 55 millimeters. Okay. So this is the point through which the cutting plane will be passing. Okay. Now guys, this cutting plane is actually perpendicular to the vertical plane. If you have a piece of paper and if you hold it and keep it perpendicular to your wall and if you look at it from the front, you're going to see a straight line. All right. So that's how the cutting plane is positioned. Okay. So in the front view, the cutting plane appears as a line and that line is going to make an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal plane. So let us do that quickly. Okay. From this point, we're going to draw a line at an angle of 60 degrees. So this is our cutting plane and I'm going to extend this line until it intersects somewhere here. Okay. That's it. So that's the cutting plane and uh, that's the cutting plane. Okay. Dash dot dash dot dash dot dash dot. All right. Now the portion of the solid lying below the cutting plane or towards the right of the cutting plane shall be darkened. All right. So initially you have to start off with a 3H pencil or a 2H pencil and then after making or after positioning this cutting plane you need to darken it a little bit all right and for that you're going to use an H pencil I'm going to show you the portion which is supposed to be darkened so guys this is the portion which we'll be darkening 
that's it all right now we're going to look for the intersection points or the points uh, where the cutting plane intersects the solid in the edges all right so in the edge one five over here we have this point the intersection is taking place at this point so i'm going to write over here a dash now <clears throat> its corresponding top view will be somewhere here so i'm going to write here a simply a that's it similarly it may appear as if there is only one intersection point here but if you if you look at its top view this single line represents two edges one is 84 behind and the other one is 62 in front all right so there are going to be two intersecting points one is going to be here other one is here i'm going to write this as c dash and this over here i'm going to write it as b dash okay now one point corresponds to this over here as b the other one is for c fine then we have this over here between 6 and 7 and between 7 and 8 so between 6 and 7 there is a point and between 7 and 8 they, again there is a point in order to find the exact location of this what we're going to do is we're going to extend this until it reaches here okay so between 6 and 7 the we have a point over here in the form of say we're going to call this by t and we're going to call this e all right so between 2 and 7 we have d and between 7 and 8 we have e right at the top so this is um, d rather i should refer it to as d dash and this over here is e dash so those are my cutting points all right fine guys now you can see that i have the cutting points and uh, <clears throat> their corresponding top is also a b c this is d and this is e all right now the cutting plane starts from here starts from here from a and ends at d e d e okay so this is the portion of the top view which i'll be hatching all right let's do so that's it guys okay now there are certain portions which are to be darkened and i'm going to do so with the help of an edge pencil now this portion is also remaining so this also has to be darkened this portion over here all right So that's it guys that's exactly how this square prism will look from the top okay now the next thing that we are interested in is creating the true shape of the section and that can be done the true shape can be visible is visible from here over here absolutely perpendicular by looking absolutely perpendicular to this cutting plane okay then we can have the true shape of the section now uh, have a clear look at the steps and then you need to draw a line parallel to this cutting plane over here all right so, so i'm gonna um, be doing this i'm not going to darken this so this is going to be x1 x1 and this over here is going to be y1 now for creating the true shape okay first thing what i did is i made i ensured that the line over here is absolutely parallel to this one so this can be done with the help of a mini drafter you can keep your mini drafter over here tighten the screw and bring it over here draw a line the distance can be increased also okay all right guys the next thing to do is to start drawing these so-called perpendicular lines from these intersection points we have, i've already drawn a line from a and then i'm going to do the same thing from 
B and C and from D and E all right now next thing it's pretty simple take arcs from x y and put them from x1 y1 all right i'm going to show you how so this is an arc of arc length say 48 um, millimeters so with this guy is center i'm going to put an arc over here and this point actually represents point a big and bold okay then uh, let's worry about this point point b and point c so point b and c are going to lie here and their corresponding top views for c we have this arc and for b we have this arc so first of all i'm going to locate this point c and point c is for an arc length of say 20 all right of 20 all right we again have this so that's point c for you All right, now that we have point C, we're going to locate point B. So point for point B, we have this arc in the form of 77 millimeters. Um, again, seventy-seven. Okay, I need to be extending this line. okay so this over here is what you call point b the only thing left is point d and e it's pretty simple take an arc for point e so this is an arc length of 34 all right point e we go upstairs upstairs and over here point e So that's point E and finally we go, we've got to locate this point D and this is having an arc length of say 62 millimeters all right sixty two that's it so this over here it is point D big and bold right now we're going to join all these points with the with a simple line so let us do so and for that i'm going to use this polyline a to c c to e e to d d to b and back to a all right now so this is our closed body um, the next thing to do is to hatch okay that's it done okay i'm going to darken this that's it so that's what you call true shape of the section true shape of section okay this guy over here is what you call front view okay whereas this guy over here is what you call the top view all right okay the next thing is to draw the um, what you call the sectional side view and for that i'm going to look at this object from here okay i'm going to draw a line initially now that we've made a line and i'm going to write over here and this is going to be x2 and this is going to be y2 all right okay we're going to be extending these lines towards the right Okay, and the next step is to rotate these lines at an angle of 45 degrees until they reach somewhere here okay so these are the points i'm worried about okay two things are left which is e 
and D and then I'm gonna throw a line over here see all right please watch this carefully this is an extremely important step okay now I'm gonna be sending these points extending these points rather to meet this horizontal line somewhere here and that's the result okay now the next step is to keep on drawing these horizontal lines and I'm gonna draw a vertical line from this point let us uh, keep keep on drawing this vertical line that's it next step is to draw keep on drawing these so-called horizontal lines from this guy that's it that's it well, that's almost done first of all I'll be placing all the so-called intersecting points okay the points where the uh, cutting plane intersects the solid okay a b c d and e so the a point for a point we have this line this line move upstairs upstairs and this is where so in this line we're gonna have this point a so let us see it's intersecting over here okay so this over here represents point a double dash all right now for points b and c you know that this corresponds to point b this is for point b this line this line is for point b and over here this line is for point c so check the horizontal so this is going to be point c double dash point b double dash okay and this is going to be point c double dash that's it now for points d and e d will be towards the right and e will be towards the left towards the right at the top this is going to be the position of d d double dash and this is going to be e double dash now let us join all these points with the help of a smooth line all right let us darken this okay and the remaining stuff now in the bottom we had these points one two three four so this is four and towards the right of four is one and towards its right is two okay so i'm gonna write four one and two four one and two over here all right so this is going to be four this is going to be one and this is going to be two now guys one more thing behind one there is point three so I'll write over here point three double dash double dash is basically for uh, a side view all right okay and at the top the points are gone only one point is remaining that is point seven I guess all right the remaining points have been cut off so we're gonna going to give it some respect um, so this is going to be point seven um, double dash and let us draw the remaining figure okay let us darken this okay guys that's uh, that's exactly how the sectional side view will look and now hatching pick points done this is over and finally I'm gonna write here sectional side view uh, no I'm gonna write it in big and bold sectional side view <sighs> well 
that's it guys that's all from my side and uh, few few final touch ups i i guess would be better so this is the 55 mm okay so this is the point where the cutting plane passes through the axis okay 55 mm above the axis this angle over here is in fact 60 degrees okay guys that was all from my side and if you have any questions or queries don't forget to write them down below in the comment section let us meet again with a new question and with a new set of ideas thank you for watching and if you really like it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up all right thank you